Besides unlocking our body's resilience, the mind can also unleash superhuman speed. We instinctively call on that power when the brain spots a hazard too deadly to confront. Rather than face it, we push our bodies to the limit to escape. A wildfire blasts through the Southern California hills at terrifying speed. Caught in its path, a policeman accelerates faster than a racehorse. That life-saving burst of power is from inside. Strong winds have sent flames racing up tender, dry hillsides today. 4,000 acres have now burned in Ventura County. Officer Dan Perkins is trying to reach residents trapped by the approaching forest fire. It was pretty hectic. There was a lot of fire and smoke. Visibility was was pretty low. On the approach road now, I'm going to try to get through to them. Trees were falling partway in the roadway on fire. You know, fences were on fire. The house that they were at wasn't on fire yet, but uh, it was going to be soon. As he gets closer, Dan's body goes on alert. The fire could erupt at any moment. Folks, get in your cars and follow me out. Quickly, quickly. They started to go to their cars, and that's when the firestorm came over. It was, you know, 60, 70 feet above me when it blew over. I thought that was it. I thought that I was going to die. An exploding fireball can outpace an Olympic sprinter and normally would engulf Officer Perkins. But his heightened state of alert triggers a powerful biochemical reaction. Adrenaline sends his body into overdrive, cutting loose strength he didn't know he had. Adrenaline is a, a very neat hormone. You focus, it heightens all senses from your hearing, your smell, your thought processes so that you can be very focused to get out of a dangerous situation. As Dan senses danger, the disaster center in his brain jumpstarts his body and he runs for his life. That instant response triggers a series of critical reactions. Just above Dan's kidneys, glands inject the hormone adrenaline into his bloodstream. The adrenaline boosts his heart rate. Blood now races to his muscles quickly. Adrenaline signals his liver to flood the body with glucose, blood sugar for fuel. But even that won't save him. What really kickstarts Dan's sprint for safety is instant energy. It's there in our muscles, stored for just such emergencies. The human body has a great resource in that it stores energy in preparation for emergency situations. And it's kind of like a high energy battery. It just stores this energy. And so when you need to, you have this quick burst and you utilize that energy, it's called ATP. ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is the energy molecule that keeps us alive. ATP fuels our muscles. It can be made by burning glucose or fat. We store an emergency reserve of ATP in our muscles, available for instant action, turbocharging us on demand. For a few seconds, the energy burst turns Dan into a skilled sprinter. The 100 meter sprint, the ultimate test of human speed. The event lasts less than 10 seconds, time enough for a well-trained runner to call on a surge of high energy ATP. For 
four precious seconds, his body accelerates at the maximum, consuming its emergency ATP supply. Now, peak performance is done. For the last 40 meters, the runner is actually slowing down. Then, with the race over, the body can stop. Dan's ATP battery needs to get him out of danger and to his car, 60 meters away. I didn't even think about what I was going to do, where I was going to go. I just turned and ran. I don't think I've run faster in my life. For a few key seconds, Dan has pushed his body to its limits. Just long enough to keep him alive. Once I backed out, that, that's when I realized what just happened. I was I just shocked and then I realized I had to go back in. With the firestorm passed, Dan returns to rescue the eight survivors who had huddled in a swimming pool. By saving his own life, Dan Perkins was able to rescue eight others. He was later decorated for valor.